Hi Tara, I'm, uh, my name is Howell Williams. I'm an associate lecturer in American politics at Manchester Metropolitan University. Broadly speaking, my research is on domestic politics, uh, the Democratic Party, and family values rhetoric in American politics. So what's the next step in the transition process before Trump gets inaugurated in January? In American politics, they, uh, we, we make a, a lot of issue about what the president accomplishes in the first 100 days of his presidency. So he'll be working with his advisors to kind of map out the first 100 days, what that looks like, what his legislative goals are. There haven't been signs that it's been the smoothest of processes. I mean, he's, he's taken some uh, unprecedented steps, but that is, uh, that's what you can presume is happening behind the gilded doors at Trump Tower. Throughout Trump's campaign, he made a lot of controversial promises, such as building a wall between Mexico and America. Do you think he'll follow through any of them? Um, I mean, here's the thing about Donald Trump, is that his, his genius came in his ability to promise things that he was never going to be able to deliver on. Will he build a massive wall along the Mexican border? Possibly. Um, will it accomplish any of the real issues that America needs to address? No. Uh, if I were betting, I would say that he's not going to be successful building the wall. But if I were betting a month ago, I would have said that he wasn't going to win the presidency. So, What effect do you think Donald Trump's presidency will have between the UK and America? They aren't natural allies, Donald Trump and, and Theresa May. So I think going forward, the question is less, will the two countries continue to work together? I think, of course, that they will. Um, the question is, what happens to this kind of residual anger? And if it's being, if it's offered a home in major political parties, uh, I think that's a real concern in both countries.